Hey guys, it's Russell Tussle, and welcome back for some more RimWorld. We're going to be starting playthrough number three, because I have officially killed two colonies within, within two to three episodes. So within like an hour and a half, both times, both colonies have been completely wiped. So, uh, so yeah, but I'm determined. We're going to keep at this. Cassandra Classic, Rough, Permadeath. It's going to happen. Purple, maybe that's a good sign. That's Val Smash's favorite color. Uh, we're not doing the desert again. That sucked. Alright, so let's reroll one. Oh, tropical rainforest. It's flat, but there'll be lots of trees and the growing season's year-round. This might be... This might be the break we're looking for. Uh, capable of scary, but she's heat tolerant and this is probably a really hot area. And she has a lot of passions. So let's keep Aletta. Vladimir, the politician. He's addicted to weed, guys. The nose? Taxonomist? Who's also addicted to weed? Oh my god. Alright, I'm probably gonna reroll both of those. Bye, Vladimir. So that's one. Two. Um... She's not my favorite, but she's in she's not incapable of doing anything. And she learns things 80% faster, which will negate the fact that a lot of these are only times 33, so it's really times 100. So we're keeping Calhoun, the teacher. All right, so that's one, two, oh. Holy, holy crap, guys. Look at all that. Oh, Lumi. I love Lumi. Um, so for those of you that have played this game, I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of times you get, like, repeat names, like Lumine LeBlanc, and, like, they're almost always a bounty hunter. Like, it's it's like it's the same person. They may look different each time. Um, but they, like, reappear, which I kind of appreciate, because then it makes it feel like it's the same universe, just a different world every time. All right, let's start, guys. I'm excited. I feel good about this. I feel good. All right, we, we've read that twice already. We know, we know the drill at this point. Oh, geez, guys, this is a really flat map. There's like nothing at all. Oh gosh. We got plenty of trees, so everything's gonna be built out of wood. So at least that means we won't need to research stone cutting very, about maybe at all. Uh, what are you? Oh, capybara! Those are so cute. All right, so who's, I think Lumi's the best at shooting, so she gets the rifle. Uh, all right, you're both, you are passionate about melee. Oh, but you're also really smart, so you'll learn shooting faster. And then she like, will kind of stay inside, not do much. Minor break risk. What? Already? How does that make sense? Whoa, her mental break is really high. Oh, it's because they're neurotic. Well, she's nervous and she's neurotic. So it increases their mental break threshold. Oof, oof. I'm saying our grace is too soon, guys. Um, all right, everyone's gonna grow. Everyone's gonna haul. Everyone's gonna flick. We'll have two people doctor. All right, well, let's get to building.
Yeah, that's fine for now. Just put the like the dumping zone way over there. Uh, and then we'll have some crops. If I can see. Alright, that's where it ends. So that'll be a wall, that'll be flowers, that'll be a path, which means this will be the crop area. Alright, so I don't think anyone's particularly good at growing. Oh, go to seven. Anyone have an eight? Alright, so we can't do heal root yet. So we'll do potatoes. Um, corn. I think I'm gonna skip rice this time because I just I don't think it's worth it. We'll do strawberries. So what's the point? Delicious even when raw. All right, let's try strawberries. Maybe it'll increase mood somehow. Maybe. Yeah, is that what I'm doing? Can't even see. It's really hard to see. Alright, we'll start off with this. We'll do a wood floor. And what's good is it's it's not too hot. Oh, it's we started in winter, which is interesting. Usually you start in spring. Oh, and then we also need to schedule some joy. God, every time I say that schedule some joy. It just makes me think of, what's it called? We happy few. Don't forget to take your joy. Is that game out yet? I'm gonna have to look that up. All right, so we have two people constructing. Everyone can grow. Oops. And what's good is because she's clearing trees to plant, she's creating wood for the people that are constructing, which is very convenient. Look at that. So you already have a closed in area. Oh, wow. Look how hot it got. All right. Next thing. We definitely need power. Uh, probably fairly quickly. So I'm going to make this like the storeroom, I think. So... We also need like a battery shed. Identical. What is that? Oh, that's just when I try to build over something that's already there, I guess? It's kind of weird. Uh, this doesn't need to be quite as long. Wait, silver door? No. Uh uh. Is that, uh. We'll cancel those walls. Oh 
no minor break risk still. Alright, Calhoun, what do you need? Gosh, they're not even, like, doing that bad. Everyone's just really easily perturbed by stuff. You know, we should also probably build some joy right away to potentially mitigate some disastrous consequences. Oh good, look, everyone's- <gasps> yay, they're all playing horseshoes together! I know we need batteries, but I'm hesitant to build any. I think that's covered. Oh good, the minor break went away. That's only plus 8%. Like, look how far apart those two things are. I feel like that's way more than 8%. Unroofed? Oh, that part. Oh look, it's like differently shaded. Alright, good. Everyone's getting their joy in. Wait, so is this built? Restoring power? What's going on? Oh, that was dumb. Oh cool, because there's only one assignment. Aleta's taking care of it. Nope, just kidding. Alright, there we go. Alright, so we have joy, we have power. Um, Let's try to extend this power to the other building so we can put in a light because a bright room is a happy room or something like that. <laughs> Yay! All right. Production. So we have power. Gosh, maybe we should go ahead and just do an AC unit already. They're almost done planting crops already, so that's good. Oh look, it's a monkey! Advanced intelligence, but I don't think... Yep, yep, yep. Alright, we know how to build freezers. Oh, what's our pet? Oh, it's a Yorkshire. So there are certain animals that are really smart, but they can't haul simply because they're not big enough. Which stinks. So this dog is basically useless. The Yorkshire. It's there to make someone feel good. Alright, so we'll do obedience so it'll bond with someone. Can I reconstruct? Oh good, you can move lights. It doesn't tell you if it's close enough to connect, though. Alright, 
let's do an electric stove. We'll do a door there. I'm <laughs> after our colony, after that one colony was wiped out by angry deer, I'm hesitant about building a butcher table and and trying to hunt animals, because it didn't go so well the first time. This might be a vegan colony. What else do I want? Oh, and then I want coolers. I think I'm gonna put them at the back. So I think the building is just gonna kinda go left be like a very long rectangular shape like there'll be a hallway and then a bunch of rooms it's probably a waste of steel but oh well It's winter, so I don't think we'll have to worry about heat. We'll just have to worry about cooling in the summer. Probably the spring, summer, and fall. <laughs> Basically, the AC is always going to be on. It's just like when I lived in Florida. Oh, good, so everyone's doing some joy stuff. No one's really hauled any goods, which is interesting. Go ahead and put in a wood floor so that they'll just clear out this room all together. And then I think I'm gonna order someone to. So I think if you click harvest, because maps like this. Like there are berry bushes? Oh, go away. Windows notifications. Jesus. So if you highlight the map like that and just do harvest, someone will run around and collect all the ripe berries for food. Which is a good thing to tide you over. Is anyone starving? Alright, so they have the food somewhere. Okay, it's right here. Alright, so the storage options are fine. I don't know why they're not storing anything, really. They kind of have shadows. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. I guess because the sun is setting? Oh look, the shadows move for the building. That's pretty cool. We should have <laughs> this building with a bunch of trees in it. Some fried berries. Oh, we got some visitors from Village at the River. Wonder if they'll have anything good to trade. Gosh, this is a huge map. It's so open. Who has the highest social? Three, five, seven. All right, Lumi. And you're going to bed, but let's trade because they might be gone before the morning comes. 
nutrient paste. Okay. Oh, light machine gun. Alright, I don't think they really have anything I want to buy. I don't think they are willing to buy anything that I want to sell, so... That was fun. So what I usually do is I have a store pile that's everything but food and no corpses because when people see human corpses it freaks them out and animal corpses should go in the freezer so you can so they keep until you eat them and then this one is only food and only animal corpses and then don't allow rotten so they don't keep rotten food in the freezer just go into our storeroom and take something. That's what it kind of looked like, didn't it? Alright, bye village at the river, people. <laughs> oh, Lumi thinks you should name the colony. We made it. Alright, we'll, we'll keep it that. That's appropriate, because this is attempt number three. <gasps> Alpacas? The community is now known as We Made It. Alright, let's try to tame these alpacas. Because we can get wool from them. And eat, eat them in a jiffy. In a bind. Oh yay, so that's complete. Uh, so we'll keep that one at 70, and this one's going to be much lower. Keep it at 30. Okay, good. Now everyone's going around harvesting berries. So it seems like strawberries grow faster than potatoes. That's good. Mad animal. A local tortoise has gone mad. How close is it to our... You two have guns. Alright, Lumi. Go shoot the tortoise. I don't even see it. Oh god, it's so far away. Oh, she's such a good shot. Come on, Yorkshire, don't get in the way. God, this tortoise is hanging on for dear life. Oh, you can rescue it? No, we don't really need to tame tortoise for anything. I think if you rescue an animal, it's automatically tamed. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Alright, I know what I said, but I'm going to be a hypocrite and build a butchering table.
Add build, butcher creature forever. So that way it butchers creature just whenever you have them. Well guys, I think this is where I'm going to end this episode. Oh, it gets pretty cold at night. Uh, so we just finished day three. Uh, we're starting day four. Uh, so once again, my name is Russell Tussle. This is part one of playthrough three of Rim Worlds. Uh, please like and subscribe below, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.